So this is one of my fossil cabinets. We've got fossils in. I'm just going to open a drawer. This is a drawer of ammonites from bed one of the gold, mostly from the Dentatus nodule bed. These are all hoplites or, or other rarer ammonites from that layer. So most of them are most of them are Hoplites dentatus, but there's various other species. There are also other, other rarer ammonites. There are keeled ammonites occasionally found. This is Oxytropidoceros. You can see it's keel there. These are really rare. I, I don't know anybody that's got a whole one of these. There's probably some in museums. And as you can see there, it's got a label on it. It's very important to label your specimens. So, so you've got the scientific information and where you found it. And this is one of the very rare heteromorphic specimens you get from the Dentatus zone. And, uh, that's the most common heteromorph you get in the in that Dentatus zone is, is this one called Pictetia. You only really get fragments though, but uh, they're none, none, nonetheless interesting. This one is particularly nice because you can see the siphuncle here, which uh, which I talked about earlier. It's that tube there. Again, running, running along the outside of the coil. This next drawer are more more hoplites specimens and one of the interesting things as well is you get other fossils attached to some of these ammonites and here is a partial fossil crab attached to this one so it's well worth having a look to see what's attached to them and even if they're fragments you might have something interesting attached here is a coral attached to that one In this drawer, we have mainly pyrotized ammonites, all of the ones from the, the Dentatus nodule bed in bed one of the gold are, are phosphatized. And with the pyrotized ones, we have to be careful that we soak them in fresh water, especially if, well, if they've been found on the beach to get the, sea, the salt water out. Because if you've got the salt on there, then that can, that can mean that they, the ammonites decay relatively quickly due to pyrite decay. But yeah, so the pyrotized ones are, are the most prized and of course if you find them fresh then they have their original shells on which is which is a really really nice feature of the gold the gold tamanites. And in this drawer there's a bit of a mixture. These are these are mostly from the the upper gold, and a lot of the ammonites from the upper gold, particularly from bed eight, are phosphatized, which is actually quite nice because they don't decay like the the other pyrotized ones. One of the finest specimens in in this drawer really is you know it's rather innocuous. This is figured in the fossils of Folkestone, and this is a body chamber of an ammonite but it's it's got the aptikai preserved aptikai were the sort of way that the ammonite closed off its closed off its body chamber you can see them there and uh, I believe this is a hysterosaurus here's another draw of uh, ammonites from from the upper gold and this bag here is, is silica gel, which is really good for keeping things dry, as, especially where you've got pyrotized specimens. And perhaps the, the most fun drawer is, is the, the drawer of heteromorphic specimens in here. Again, silica gel to keep the pyrotized specimens nice and dry. So that's a little peek into the drawers of fossils in my collection. I'd love to show you 
every single individual specimen, but uh, it just isn't time <laughs> or, or space on my phone. Thank you very much.